Thank you for taking the time to watch the presentation by the Jeff Coach team. Um, this subject is going to cover goal setting and time management skills. Congratulations, you're in college. Why do people go to college? Well, whatever your reason, there are added benefits to attending college. You obtain better communication and critical thinking skills, a better adaptability to change in knowledge and in technology. You're better able to deal with new challenges, better prepared to live and work in a diverse world, and learning will become a part of your lifelong habit. College is like a pinball game. There are things you cannot control, such as the weather, traffic, things from the past, your talents, change, and your current GPA. However, there are things that you can control, your exercise routine, your diet, your self-talk and motivation, your sleep habits, skipping class, and your study habits. There are two keys to winning at pinball college and or life, and these are that you must set goals and you must have a plan. Why do we set goals? Well, goals give you a focus. Goals allow you to measure your progress. Goals keep you locked in and undistracted. Goals give you motivation. And goals help you to avoid procrastination. SMART goals. S stands for specific. What is our goal? Why are we setting this goal? And how do we plan to achieve it? This clearly defines what you are going to do. M is measurable. What tangible evidence will we have when we accomplish the goal? A, achievable. You must have the skills, knowledge, and abilities needed to achieve the goal. Be challenged, but yet be realistic about planning your steps. Recorded, write down your goals. Better yet, put them somewhere where you see them often. Um, situations like this, you can put them on a computer screen or your study area, just put a sticky note there that reminds you. And time bound, set a deadline for your completion. Time management. One key to becoming a successful college student is to spend your time wisely each day, the week, and month to meet your goals. Maintaining a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly calendar is essential in managing time. Make a list of what needs to be accomplished and prioritize this list and plan accordingly. Organizational planners can be bought or created and they can often be on paper or you can do this digitally. Carry your planner with you and refer to it often. There are three main parts of a planner. You have your master calendar, your weekly schedule, and your daily to-do list. Your master calendar, um, you should create a yearly calendar. On monthly pages, you fill the dates out from your Jeff State Community College academic calendar. These monthly uh, master calendars can also be found on our jeffersonstate.edu website. You can print those off and those will have important dates on them for you, such as when your payments are due or certain deadlines and registration dates. The second thing you need to do is add other important dates, such as holidays, birthdays, and anniversaries. Your annual dental and medical appointments should also be added if you are, have already scheduled those appointments. Three, for the semester, add your assignments due for the dates and test dates from class syllabus and as you receive them. For the current and upcoming months, add other events and appointments as they are planned. And stick to a routine. Create a routine at the beginning of each of your semesters. A weekly schedule. You should create a weekly calendar. First, you will add all fixed items such as your classwork, your work schedule, activities, and other required responsibilities and for unchanging times. Second, you will add in flexible items, your responsibilities and activities that must happen but can happen at flexible times such as study times, your household chores, and family responsibilities. But go ahead and plan time to work on upcoming assignments. How much work time, school work time is enough? 
Well, a general guideline is to plan for two hours of schoolwork per one credit hour in class. To earn a B, this means three hours for every one hour in class can earn you an A. For instance, if you have a three credit hour class, you need to schedule six to nine hours of schoolwork time that week to achieve that goal. Finally, add recreational breaks, going um, to the movies, watching TV, visiting with friends. Um, you need to take time to do something fun and it helps you avoid being burnt out on the subject or your coursework. To-do list. First, add tomorrow's items from your weekly schedule. Second, add any items left over from the day's to-do list that you didn't get to accomplish. Third, add any other items that may have popped up during the day. And finally, prioritize your list. Put an A next to the must-do items, such as your appointments, the classwork, or your work schedule. A B next to your should-do items, such as you should study, take time to get your oil changed, or you must go grocery shopping. And put a C next to the like-to-do items, like you may like to go on a walk or take a break to watch your favorite TV show. Feel to keep your list with you and check off items as you have completed them. When should you create your list? Some people find that creating next day's to-do list at the end of the day is most effective. Keeping on track. Study. Study when you are at your best. Some of us are morning people and like to hit the floor running and that's the best time to study when your mind's clear. Or some of us can stay up late at night and study then. Reward yourself. Reward your study time by taking breaks and, you know, watching television for a minute. Keep, keep your eye on the prize. Reflect on, reflect on how you spend your time. Questions to ask yourself, you should say, generally I study mm, how many hours or minutes a day? And generally I study mm, how many times per week? What kind of setting do I feel I do my most productive studying? And how much time do I spend online or on social media? And has that impacted my coursework and study time? Other tips for spending your time wisely is to say no. Learn to say no when you need to focus on your goals. Requests and favors from others need to be considered only if they don't interfere with your own priorities. Technology break. Take a technology break. Turn off your social media text messaging for a time. Better yet, put your cell phone in another room while you study. Study in silence. Try studying in silence or with white noise. Music and TV can be distracting. Isolated spots. Search out isolated spots for schoolwork time, um, like a designated library space, a coffee shop, or just a little quiet location um, that you prefer to study in. Avoid procrastination. Your schedule is already busy. When you procrastinate, you cause yourself unnecessary stress by having to do a lot of work in a short period of time. To avoid procrastination, focus on your goals. You should divide your work into small manageable chunks. You should set deadlines. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you get stuck. Establish a routine and have a set study time and a study place. And reward yourself for the completion of your task. That's our presentation for goal setting and time management. Um, knowing how to set your goals and manage your time are two of the essential keys to being a successful college student. But applying these skills will save you both time and money. We hope that participating in this Jeff Coach presentation will keep you on track. Um, if you would like, since you attended um, and viewed our seminar presentation, you can always return to our next ones. Um, we have more recorded and thank you for taking the time out to view this today.